What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another football video. This time we're going to be having a look at is Kyle Walker the best right back in the Premier League right now. Now this is in aid of Kyle Walker scoring his first goal for Manchester City. So as a celebration we're going to be having a look at some of the Premier League's best right backs, comparing them with Kyle Walker and seeing where Kyle Walker compares and we'll see if Kyle Walker is the best Premier League right back. Now don't forget to leave it in the comments below who you think is the best Premier League right back. Just make sure you watch the video first and see what I think and put your opinions in the comments below. Before we crack on with the video, so I'd say if you could subscribe to my channel, put your push notifications on, that would be fantastic. It helps support my channel and helps my gra channel grow, so that would be fantastic. But we're going to crack on with the video. Now I've been trying to think of a way of comparing these players and I think it's their style of play and overall performance is probably the best way of summarising in uh, how Premier League right backs compare because looking at stats there isn't too many stats here that you want to be looking at like you could be looking at chances cleared and their defending attributes but uh, particularly in terms of Kyle Walker for Manchester City he isn't just going to be judged on uh, how many balls he can head clear or his defensive position he's going to be judged also on covering space covering gaps getting forward putting crosses in uh, you know what I mean filling in stopping counter-attacks, things like that. There's so much more to football than stats that to compare it with stats, it'd be quite difficult because you'd end up coming to all kinds of different conclusions. So I'm going to instead compare overall performances and uh, how the player fits into their team. So we're going to start off in no particular order, by the way, of some of the best Premier League right-backs. I'm going to start off, I think one of the most comparable to Kyle Walker is Hector Bellerin, a player that struggled over the last season or two, in my opinion. He got a blistering start at Arsenal, a revelation. Barcelona are interested in having him. He seems to have petered off a little bit. He seems to be struggling at the same time that Arsenal struggling. Perhaps that in suggests that he may need a move somewhere else. No offence, Arsenal fans, but perhaps that does suggest that uh, for him to rejuvenate and try and become one of the best right-backs in the world, he'd have to move on and go to a club that is moving forward and competing for the highest awards because Arsenal at the moment going through a very tricky period. Now, Hector Bellerin, a very quick player, a player that's got a good eye for getting forward. He likes covering gaps. He likes bombing down the right wing, much like Kyle Walker does. Uh, in terms of defending attributes, Kyle Walker, in my opinion, tends to get back a little a bit more and when you go toe to toe with Kyle Walker normally Kyle Walker will come out on top he's uh, quite um Covers up how strong Kyle Walker is. He's quite a strong player. Obviously, he's slotted in at centre-back for England. Something I don't think that Hector Bellerin could do. So, in terms of being a versatile defender, he isn't that. Hector Bellerin's a very limited player. But, like I said, I, if he'd had a strong couple of seasons, he would certainly be one of the best right-backs in the Premier League and one of the best right-backs in the world. But it's just petered out at the same time that Arsenal have. He's struggled for confidence. He's struggled for form. Whereas Kyle Walker seems to just be taking everything into his stride. So, Bellerin... I came to the conclusion that if he was to go to somewhere like Barcelona, if Barcelona were interested in him, I feel we'd get the best out of him. Barcelona aren't tested that much defensively, so offensively he'd be able to excel, which is why Kyle Walker suits Man City. He, he, offensively, he's absolutely fantastic doing the defending duties for Manchester City. Again, he's also very good. Man City do keep a lot of clean sheets. They do concede when you press to them and you attack them and you're in the face. Uh, but I think all teams that play this that style of football are always going to crack and so you can't have perfection in a defender but for what Man City want to do Kyle Walker is at the pinnacle and I couldn't think of anyone else that I would want at Manchester City in our right back position so I'm going to compare him now with Trent Alexander-Arnold player that came through last season at Liverpool had a fantastic season with Liverpool kept Nathaniel Klein out of Liverpool's squad and he's continuing to do it this season a player that's considered the third choice England right back as England don't seem to be having any trouble with their right backs with Kieran and Trippier, Kyle Walker goes in at centre back, but we'll play right back if Trippier ends up getting injured. And you got Trent Alexander Arnold too, and again, he's another player who saw it in the Champions League final. Loves to get forward, has one of Liverpool's best chances to score. He likes filling in the gaps. In terms of defending, you saw it in the Champions League again numerous times. He managed to keep Leroy Sane whilst he was going through his purple patch of being fantastic. Managed to keep him quite a very good defender, one to watch for the future. Certainly he could be up there with Kyle Walker. He's just not got the consistency of Kyle Walker just yet because he's only been around for a season at Liverpool. So obviously in two or three seasons' time, he carries on with his form. We could well be talking about Trent Alexander-Arnold being one of the best right-backs in the world. He needs to show the consistency. If he can move from strength to strength over the next two or three seasons, I guarantee that he will be there. Now, the next two players, very similar uh, in terms of being quite close to Kyle Walker. And I was a little bit undecided, so I'd hope you could help me out in the comments with this. Now, first player, 
going to talk about is Kieran Trippier. For England, he had an absolutely fantastic World Cup. Both offensively and defensively, he was doing it. He was doing absolutely everything. He was brilliant. He was scoring gold in the semi-final. He was defending well. His set pieces were fantastic. His putting crosses into the box were fantastic. Corner taking, everything like that. He, was, he just had a very solid World Cup campaign, Kieran Trippier did. Now for Tottenham... Um, he might struggle a little bit more at Tottenham now. He's got a lot of competition at right back. Uh, Kieran Trippier did. Obviously, England had a World Cup campaign. It's only going on for a few games. What we're talking here, five, six games England ended up playing. So, Kieran Trippier managed to keep Trent Alexander-Arnold out of the squad and managed to keep Kyle Walker as a centre-back. So... For, but for Tottenham, it's a little bit different. Now, he's got much more competition there. He's got Aurier competing with him for a right-back spot too. Uh, Premier League's a very long and hard season, so obviously he's going to have a lot of squad rotation there. Now, Kieran Trippier, offensively going forward, he's fantastic. And again, like I said, defensively, he's a very good player. He's just like Trent Alexander-Arnold. He needs more consistency. If he can have how he performed for England for a whole season for Tottenham... I can guarantee you that a lot of big clubs would be after Kieran Trippier because he was just phenomenal. Like I said, his set piece was on another level. It was fantastic. Now, for the other player I was going to talk about, which is Cesar Azpilicueta of Chelsea, he is very good defensively. Offensively, he's not Marcus Alonso. Marcus Alonso sits on the left. He gets forward. He scores goals. Uh, Azpilicueta fills in them gaps. And defensively, he reminds me a lot of uh, what Pablo Zabaleta was at Manchester City, which was he gets forward every now and then, but he tends to sit back, cover them gaps. You ask him to do the job, and he does the job. He's got that attitude. He's a very, very good player. Now, in terms of defensively, I'd say Aspel Laqueta on that list that I've just named, hands down, the best. No questions asked there. Offensively, Mm, big to differ. I think Kyle Walker suits it just perfectly for Manchester City. I think they are very uh, very close in comparison, says uh, Cesar Aquetta and Kyle Walker. So I'm asking on a consistency level. Both of them are very consistent. Let's not forget that Kyle Walker was excellent for Tottenham whilst he was there too. He managed to keep Kieran Trippier out of the squad. And Kyle Walker has come to Manchester City. He's kept Danilo out of the squad and he's made the right back position his own for England he moved to centre back under the recommendation of Guardiola to Southgate and they ended up moving Trippier to right back and Trippier ended up excelling so it would be interesting to see over the next season or two how Trippier does it would be interesting to see over the next two or three seasons how Trent Alexander-Arnold does in my opinion though if you're asking for a team to want to defend then Aspel Aquetta would be my option for a best right back offensively you wanting them to go forward keep possession fill in the gaps and bomb down that wing, then you're obviously looking at Bellerin, but you'd be looking at Kyle Walker, because I think at this moment in time, hands down, form Kyle Walker is a lot better. Very, very consistent player. Now, you're asking uh, if I was going for like a, a Premier League 11, Kyle Walker got the right back of the year. He's been getting it uh, for quite a few seasons now. He's been fantastic. He'd probably end up getting it again this season if he can stay injury-free, because he's just that good. And in my opinion, we've got another three, four, five years of Kyle Walker. Enjoy them because he's just one of the best right backs in the world. And Chelsea's got one in Aspilicueta. Very close in comparison for the best Premier League one. I'd purely go for Kyle Walker because of how Man City play. If we're playing defensively, then I'd prefer Aspilicueta, but we don't. We play offensively. Kyle Walker suits our uh, formation hands down. He's just scored his first goal, and I'm looking forward to seeing much more of Kyle Walker. So, to my conclusion. I think that they're like a little league, like you've got these very, very good right backs just sitting it all around here. Then on the next level, you've got Aspil Quetta and Kyle Walker. These players that are sitting in this little bit here, they have all the potential to go here and here. Whereas Aspil Quetta have already got there along with Kyle Walker. So it'll be interesting to see as Chelsea and Man City progress through the season, who will end up progressing more. One uh, thing that Aspil Quetta can do is he is very, very versatile. He can slot in at centre-back. I imagine he can probably slot in at left-back too. So he'd cover a whole of Chelsea's back line. And he's a very, very important player for them. Um, Manchester City with Kyle Walker. Nowhere near the same without Kyle Walker. And I've got my fingers crossed again that we don't end up picking up an injury because uh, Danilo as strong as he is and as good as he can be and scoring gold is one of his strengths he isn't Kyle Walker, he isn't as quick he isn't. He doesn't cause problems for the defenders whereas Kyle Walker is just in your face he can defend well, he can get back well he can uh, chase you all down he's very quick, he can play here, he can play there he over uh, overlaps, he can cut in puts good balls in 
can improve on his crossing, then we've got ourselves, uh, if we can get a Kieran Trippier style crossing, then we've got ourselves the best right back in the world. So it's something always to work on, but for, to conclude, I, I'm quite happy with having Kyle Walker as the best right back in the Premier League and playing at Manchester City. It would not surprise me though if Aspilicueta ends up overtaking him at some point. But there we go, that, that's my opinion. So like I said, Kyle Walker, Aspilicueta up here, the rest just here, potential to get to their level. So let me know what you think of that in the comments below. Uh, something new, international break, it's boring, <laughs> so I'm going up with new video ideas. So if you're enjoying these style of videos and me talking about some of the Premier League's best players comparing with some of Man City's players, if you want me to talk about European best players comparing with Man City players, then I can do that. Just let me know in the comments below. you got any video ideas, again, let me know in the comments below. But let me know what you thought of the video and let me know who you think is the best right back in the Premier League. There we go. That's been the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a big thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new around here with your notifications on. And also, don't forget to check out my social media links in the description below along with my email if you want to hit me up with any business inquiries or any sponsorships or any videos and also don't forget to check out my second channel JSGC Gaming and my brother's partner channel Mixed Do Mix Ollie Drinks and I'll leave the links up to them at the end of this video if you wish you want to go check them out like and subscribe over there and I'll see you all for the next football video or the next JSGC video or whatever we've got in store because I have no idea so I'll see you then so it's been JSGC hope you have a wonderful rest of your day peace ciao for now Oh,